match day six of the Premier League is done and dusted. And I have, you know, my top five talking points from over the weekend brought to you by Giga Win. Lot to dissect, you know. <laughs> if you're a Manchester United fan, you will not want to watch this um, review because um, there are a lot of bad, bad starts that Teddy Tenaga has accrued for you guys. And if you're a Chelsea fan, they are the happiest in the country right now, talking about the world. They are flying. Kopama is sending shivers to other teams. And of course, um, Enzo Maresca is like turning the fortunes of Chelsea around after Pochettino left the club. And for Arsenal, still unbeaten and a very miraculous comeback. They always did it, you know, talking about late, late wins at the Emirates. And for Manchester City, a shocker at Newcastle, who are relatively not having a good season. For Man City, after losing Rodri to a long-time injury, they'll be playing without their, one of their most important players. But away from that, let's start from the top, where I have um, number, number one pick um, is Arsenal and set pieces. You know, we've seen in a couple of years after, you know, Atita joined the club, after Nicolas um, Jovia, you know, joined the club as well, how Arsenal have been very effective when it comes to free kicks and set pieces. And we saw, you know, back-to-back -back games before the, um, before the you know, Leicester City game, Gabriel scored back-to-back -back against, against Spurs for the North London Derby and against Man City. And even against Leicester City, he had a goal shot on target that almost, almost entered. And if you look at the start, you know, back in this, since the, last, since the start of last season, Arsenal have scored 25 goals from set-piece, free kicks and corner, you know, excluding penalties. So they'll be very effective when it comes to set pieces, very effective when it comes to free kicks, and very effective when it comes to corner kicks. So teams should be wary. They call it dark hearts because, you know, they have to, you know, confuse the, um, the goalkeeper, try to hold him down, but they'll be very effective since, you know, the um, set pit coach, Dr. about Nicolas uh, Jovia, joined the club. Uh, let's move away and talk about my United and their, say, and their failures. That's our second when it comes to my top five picks this weekend. And it has been a very, very bad start to life for Eric Tenag. Imagine, they've scored just one goal at Old Trafford and likes of Liverpool, likes of uh, Spurs have scored more goals than my United at their home ground talking about Old Trafford. And the interesting part about this is they can't even sack him because if they have to sack Eric Tenag, they have to pay £17.5 million as compensation because they signed a, a, a season extension contract last season. So, so much for my United. They've spent a whooping close to a billion naira this season. They've signed, you know, three defenders, Maserao, the Leeds, you know, uh, Lenny Yoro. They signed a midfielder, Ugate. They've signed a striker, Zez, Zigza from, um, you know, Bolognas. And they look like they've not been doing extremely well. Just one go at Old Trafford and it looks like um, the season is falling apart. But um, unfortunately for my United fans, the hierarchy of my United said they are going to stay. They are going to stick with Eric Ten Hag. Uh, let's move away from that. Talk about um, Ipswich City and their positive football. We saw them against um, Liverpool in the first game of the season. And we saw how they were very effective, not um, you, know, you know, following everybody, following every team, trying to tackle every team. And we saw them again. You know, um, against Aston Villa, despite, you know, going 2-1 down, they continue to press, they continue to fight, they continue to play positive football, they continue to be aggressive, and they got an equalizer and they drew that game 2-2. So I believe they are one of the guys I look up to if they play like this continuously and they are a bit consistent, not like Luton, because Luton were, were playing something like that, but they were considering if they can close up and continue to play this effective football and getting goals, I think they'll be one of the guys that will avoid relegation. It's still early days, six matches into the Premier League, but they've shown that they are not afraid to play toe-to-toe -to -toe with the big side in the Premier League. Now, number four will be Chelsea and Cole Palmer. Hmm. You know, it will be criminal for you to talk about, you know, the highlights of the weekend that you fail to talk about Cole Palmer and Chelsea. Cole Palmer scored four goals in the first half um, against Brighton. And that's the first ever player to do it in the Premier League ever. And Kopawa, 
you know, did that and scored it. And it's interesting, a very good um, free kick in that game as well. So for Co for Kopawa, um, he has a lot of stats. Let me just read two for you guys, uh, so that I will not bore you with a lot of stats. For um, Kopawa, he has scored ten consecutive penalties without missing one. The the guy that is above him is um, yeah, today who have scored who scored eleven without missing anyone. So you just need two to be twelve and be the man that will score consecutive penalties without missing anyone. And talking about that, um, for Kopawa is the first is, is the fourth most productive forward in top five leagues in the world. You know, contributing thirty one goals and nineteen assists since he joined Chelsea. Extremely wonderful kids. He told Pep Guardiola one on one, say, Baba, what did they happen? What did they share? I won't go play, but if you don't give me, you know, if you don't give me playing time, I don't want the move. And Chelsea signed him around for three million pounds, and he has been a sensational talking about Kopama at um, Chelsea. Lastly, let's talk about Slot and Liverpool. Interestingly, out of the Blues, desperately losing to Nottingham Forest at home. They are back to winning ways, and they are top of the Premier League against all odds. And if you're talking about Slot, um, he has the most record, you know, when it comes to record of a new manager at Liverpool, even more than Jurgen Klopp. So he have started live with Liverpool as one of the best coaches for Liverpool. And these guys are playing well. These guys are getting goals. Salah is back to his fold, and um, they are topping the tide. So it will be criminal for us to overlook what Liverpool and Slot are doing this season. You know, everybody's looking like, oh, okay, the, the slot is... He didn't come like a big manager. He didn't come with all those prize, all those PR. He has been doing a good job. Went all the way to AC Milan to defeat them. And he has, you know, back to winning ways against a very, a very strong Wolves. And they won that one as well after losing to Nottingham Forest at um, the Anfield. So, that's my top top five talking points um, over the weekend in the Premier League. Very, very interesting. Six matches you know, into the season and we've seen a lot of talking points. And so why some are already setting up in terms of the objective for the season. Some like Man United are sweating to even see the philosophy of Eric Ten Hag under Manchester United. Hmm. This is brought to you by Giga Win. Don't forget to follow us across our Twitter platform on Twitter, Puja Media, and of course on YouTube like this. Just go to Puja Dissect, subscribe, you know, turn on your notification button and get our videos as he did drop. Thank you guys for listening. So you come your way again. Top five in Europe.